President Trump shreds Obama with only one sentence. He's finished. The biggest conspiracy theory this country is facing is the idea that Russian government officials interfered with the United States 2016 presidential election with the help of President Trump. Democrats won't let it go because they need a reason why they failed so miserably. However, no matter how hard they try, they cannot find anything. President Trump this last uh, week took to social media to call out this fa uh, farce of an investigation. The president sent out a flurry of tweets where he called out the former White House administration for their inaction and hypocrisy while simultaneously defending himself from outside attacks. Look here. Obama administration officials say they choked, quote, when it came to acting on Russian meddling of election. They didn't want to hurt Hillary? I cannot imagine that these very fine Republican senators would allow the American people to suffer a broken Obamacare any longer. By the way, if Russia was working so hard on the 2016 election, it all took place during the Obama administration. Why didn't they stop them? According to the reports, the Obama administration failed in their investigation of Russia. After finding out about the election interference, they created very modest sanctions against the communist country by closing two compound quarters and banning 35 diplomats. Not exactly a situation where the punishment fits the crime. That's like slapping someone with a ruler on the wrist for raping someone. One former Obama-era official said, It's the hardest thing about my entire time in the government to defend. I feel like we sort of choked. Michael McFowell, who was the U.S. ambassador to Russia for the former administration from 2012 to 2014, even admitted the punishment did not fit the crime. Russia violated our sovereignty, meddling in one of our most sacred acts as a democracy, electing our president. The Kremlin should have, ha uh, should have paid a much higher price for that attack, and U.S. policymakers now, both in the White House and Congress, should consider new actions to deter future Russian interventions. Even Obama's people know he failed in properly punishing a country, he says committed a heinous crime. I guess getting Hillary Clinton elected was more important. The president's tweets were also an attempt to get Republicans who were on the fence about the Senate health care bill to throw their support behind it. The House version was controversial and many Republicans up until hours before it is voted on indicated they were not going to vote in favor of it. No matter how the president swings it, he is getting attacks from all sides. The Senate health care bill was released on Thursday and it is up for an amendment process prior to it being voted on, meaning people can offer changes. Five GOP senators have already indicated they will not vote for it in its current form. One of those people being Senator Dean Heller from Nevada. He's a vulnerable senator in his first term up for re-election next year. Other people who won't vote for it include Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, Senator Mike Lee of Utah, Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, and Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky. Considering all the work the White House has done on the health care bill, they are going to do everything in their power to ensure that this bill is passed and thus they have a vested interest. Meanwhile, the Russia investigation is in full force. The president has pointed out a very significant problem within the mainstream liberal media. While they are vociferously reporting on all the failures and issues of the administration, they are not reporting on how the Obama administration gave Russia a slap on the wrist for meddling in the election they can't seem to shut up about. Via New York Daily News, 
as his campaign remains under investigation for possible collusion with Russia, President Trump is pointing fingers at Obama. Trump, in an interview on Sunday, accused his predecessor, President Barack Obama, of doing nothing, quote, about Russia's interference in the 2016 election despite knowing about it for months. The accusation, though, once again muddles where Trump himself stands on the reports of Russian meddling. I just heard today for the first time that Obama knew about Russia a long time before the election and he did nothing about it, Trump told Fox and Friends weekend. The CIA gave him information on Russia a long time before the election. If he had the information, why didn't he do something about it? Trump said the mainstream media was giving a free pass to Obama's inactions while rigorously reporting on the investigations into the Trump campaign. Unlike President Obama, President Trump understands it's better to have Russia as a friend than an enemy, but he isn't going to be a hypocrite about it like Democrats are being. At one press conference, he once said, I would treat Vladimir Putin firmly, but there's nothing I can think of that I'd rather do than have Russia friendly as opposed to the way they are right now, so that we can go uh, and knock out ISIS with other people. As well as, I don't think he has any respect for Clinton. I think he respects me. I think it would be great to get along with him. While everyone attacks the president, he has no problem defending himself and speaking the truth. The more the mainstream liberal media attacks him, the more he tells the truth to the ninth degree. They should realize by now that the more they focus on non-issues, the harder the administration is going to push back. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. But Obama never did anything to begin with. It would be a surprise if he did. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.